What's going on today guys and welcome to Eddie Studios. We need to get back into how to edit using your smartphone. Now, PowerDirector is my app of choice and if you haven't seen any of my other videos on how to edit using PowerDirector, I will link that at the end, but this is super important because they added something to make it so much easier to edit on this app and just to give you another way of editing. And I'm so excited about it because I didn't know it was coming, but I was hoping it would happen. So I was gonna give you guys another Power Director video and I'll throw it next week. So keep an eye out for my next week's one on how to create cine bars really easily on your video. I'm gonna do that. It's gonna be a real short and easy video, but do you wanna hear what they added that's game changing for this app? That is the ability to edit in portrait mode. Now, a lot of the editing softwares that are like very niche on phones are portrait mode. But I say they're niche, but they are kind of easier to use and maneuver. And I've been wondering because when you're editing on PowerDirector this way, you have a small screen with your viewing window up top and your timeline's very shallow on the bottom and you have to make adjustments on whether you want to see the screen fully or you want to see the timeline fully. The ability to be able to do it this way is awesome. Now let's jump into it because the way you add videos and stuff like that to the timeline looks a little different. So I wanna hop on real quick and just show you guys real quick. I'm gonna just show you the different ways to now add in comparatively to the horizontal um, or landscape style video editing on this app. Now we're editing this way kind of gives you a better platform for being able to do this. Thank you, Power Director, for doing this, and I hope you guys see this video and enjoy that I love your app. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys, so we're in Power Director, and this is the screen you get when you open the app. I had already started a project for this, but let's go ahead and go new project. We'll go 16 by nine, because that's like what I like to edit in. Or you can go vertical or any of the other aspect ratios it gives you here, but we're gonna go 16 by nine, because that's the video I shot. Then it gives you your option. Do you want to edit in portrait mode or landscape mode? And you might think if I'm doing a 16 by nine, I'd want landscape mode, but I don't. Like I like to, even if I'm doing 16 by nine wide, it's still cool to do this portrait mode. So we're checking it out, guys. I wouldn't hit the don't show again because I'm not sure where you're going to want to be able to switch which one it opens up in once you hit that. Um, it's not something I want to risk. I'm sure there's a way to change it. And if I discover it, I will let you guys know in another video. But for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to add my video that I want in there. Now you can add multiple videos now. So this is something else they changed. So now you can add multiple videos and they show up on the bottom here. So I'm just gonna add them in just because we're not gonna use all of them. But if I wanted to, I would add all of them. I would hit the check and it would add them all to the timeline in order that you add them in down there then you can make changes once you're in the timeline. We're just gonna add this one video right now. So we added our video in. So now, you wanna add videos to the main timeline. You got the plus at the end of the first track to hit to add videos to the main timeline. So before in the landscape mode, it was in the top left hand corner. And then your layered track, so everything underneath your main track is all these options on the bottom that I'm scrolling through. So those were all there before, but they were to the top left of your screen in the portrait mode. Um, or in the landscape mode. I keep saying portrait mode because I'm so excited about portrait mode, guys. All right, so basically you can add photos. You can add the color board stuff, which I love to use color board for some tricks and I'll use the color board in my trick next week. Um, you can add your audio. It lets you do, it adds sa sound effects or you can use the ones I've already downloaded. You can do animals, all these options. Um, same options you have in the other one. Um, I like that it gives you a little drop up bar above it. So like music, voiceover, then you got your stickers. I like that the stickers pop up on the bottom and you still see your screen. So like I can switch what it is and then you slide up to go down through the different ones. So like new special effects, decorations, you know, you have all the same options. So these are all, what happens if we hit here? Does it go to the end? No, I don't know what that arrow is for because it's not doing anything. Oh, it just kind of skips over a full page. It's like a page over arrow. Ooh, I like these interface ones. I don't know that I've come across them before. All right, I'm getting distracted. The box to the right brings out to full screen. Then tap on the screen, hit the back arrow to go back. And now you have your timeline. I wonder if you layer a bunch in your timeline. I'm just going to, for shits and giggles, if we can say that, add some stuff to the timeline here. 
I'm gonna add more. I just wanna layer it down real quick just to see how uh, wide the timeline gets. So it just kind of gives you a scroll. I wanted to get it past our height, but I like this height of the timeline now, guys. Like, it's nice to have a tall timeline. All right, that's all I'm showing you about it today. All right, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Would you prefer portrait editing or landscape editing on a phone? What's more convenient for a phone? For me, it's gonna be that portrait editing. I've loved PowerDirector to this point, but that change made me love it even more. And the fact that I could switch between the two makes me love it even more because I haven't come across another app that lets you do either or. And with everything the Power Director has to offer and giving me this, boom, thanks guys, this is the best. But leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments what else you'd like on Power Director and mobile editing stuff. And guys, until next week, please go check out the rest of my Power Director playlist right up there and shoot something awesome. Edit it on your phone and upload it because you should always share what you're making so that people can support you and so you can see your artwork going out there. Peace out, guys. See you next week with another video. See ya.